What up, up, fam? Man. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dale. And I'm Jess. And before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good eats like these. Welcome back. It's such a treat. Grab your plate, fam. Come on. Let's eat. Yeah. Babe, let them know what you have prepared for us today. Uh, we got a whole chicken. We got some ribs. Shout out to my friend, Mich my friend and nail tech, Michelle. We got some baked sweet potato, potato salad, baked beans, macaroni and cheese, and the coach water bottle. And before we get into that, <laughs> hit the description box below because we got the coach water bottle in the building. Mm -hmm. Check it out. In the link code is for 10% off your next purchase. Bing, bing. Now we're and ready. free shipping. Live How y'all doing and what y'all eating on? I just realized we got sweet potatoes and potato salad. Mm -hmm. Why did I, I do complain. that? I'm not even about to eat that. But we are about to move this chicken. Hold on. Could um piece. Mm. Adonis is over there watching TV with his auntie Kiki. So if y'all hear the TV, that's what it is. It's soothing Adonis. I think I said how y'all doing or what y'all eating on. Mm-hmm. You did. So why did I cook sweet potatoes and send you to the store for potato salad? It worked out to me. Cause this potato salad is good. I'm enjoying them both together. But I don't know why I did that. There's two potatoes. Yeah, but y'all already know. Our kids want to play with us today. Yes. Ooh, macaroni with some good cheese. Uh -oh. So. Now that you're back. The Go first ahead. thing I heard him to say, tell them why you got no wedding ring. Okay. A lot of y'all ate that. Let me get a couple more bites in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And old That's the whole story. It's lost and we just have not taken the time to get a new one. Because they had this whole idea of what she wants to do with my next ring. Mm -hmm. So for her, if she's not rushing to get it, then why would I be? And what's understood and got to be explained. Especially because so if she has a married, plan. Mm -hmm. But if, if, if we marry, I mean, why y'all have a ring now? The ring is a show thing for marriage. Yeah. So a lot of people, they don't see a ring they assume it's the marriage is a show. Mm-hmm. Well, this ain't no show. We got papers and cheer to <laughs> prove it. Yeah. All oh, for our kids. <laughs> so, they actually, his video, if you guys want us to talk about <clears throat> families, broken families, stuff like that. And y'all lit up. Mm hmm. Like, yes. Talk about it. Now, I'm, apprehens I'm apprehensive about talking about my family because, for one, I know some of them watching. Where's it up? I know some Thanks of them. Thanks for some from the bushes. Mm hmm. I know some of them that are watching. I know they're watching. Some of them, I they don't lurking. know. They're lurking. Mm hmm. So I really, and I was raised on that, what go on in my house, stay in my house. But what we realized is a lot of people been through the same things and they want to know, you know, how we deal with it. Mm hmm. And what we going to change. You know, just stuff like that. Or some people just like to hear folks' story. Mm -hmm. And we don't mind sharing. That's just the only part I was scared about because I don't want to start no drama. But at mm -hmm. the same time, it's my business. And if you did it to me, 
That was exactly what I was going to say. If you had the gall to do it, how can you get upset because I'm sharing exactly what you did? Mm -hmm. No add ins, no takeaways. And I'm not, you know, talking about it in a negative way. I'm not mad. I already forgave you. I don't talk to you anymore. But, you know. Just talking about how I dealt with it. Mm-hmm. Or just telling the story. Like how it made me feel. That's what and I mean about how I dealt with it. Mm-hmm. And people tell their stories on reality TV all the time. They're not telling their business, you know. Or nobody's saying, I'm telling your business. But... But what is it? My business. So, y'all, mm -hmm. we both got, we got at this point three crazy families. His mom, my mom, and my dad. So we got three crazy family trees. Yes, like our hierarchical structure in our family it really does almost essentially starts it starts with us like we are our family we're building our own hold on y'all got his Ella screaming he and he I was gonna say he's in the uh phase where he's jumping up and stomping and so, these temper tantrums they no good hold on oh, what were we saying crazy families oh and at this point both of our families crazy so we're just starting our own little, you know, our own little branch. Because we're not with the judgment. Mm -mm. So you're not going to enforce a prejudicial type of belief system on my child. I'm not with the not taking accountability. Mm -hmm. A lot of our family has did things to us and when we told them how we felt and we, showed them they don't care to they disagree they ain't did nothing so that's why i say we forgive them you just don't fool with them you know you gotta and a lot of y'all said that you gotta handle even family with a long handle spoon and that's just the truth and the reason why we say we want to talk about it is because Bay, when he went off you know to the military or whatever that was his first time being away from his family or whatever but when he, he <clears throat> used to get phone calls it's always when you need something so Bay has already experienced dealing with his family with a long handle spoon me on the other hand i'm like well i was raised on family 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 and stuff like that so i never thought that it was okay to you know still love your family from but, a distance yeah from a distance like and i don't have to wrong yeah that's pretty much what that the way i was raised family can't do no wrong that's your family it don't matter but you have to protect your peace at all times and just because your family that's still another human being yes they can still do you wrong you know step in the back and all that they have all still be jealous of you envious family has all the same emotions that we do mm -hmm. so he taught well not taught me but he showed me that and told me that it was a it's okay He's never been on anything, you know, neither one of us have been negative to each other's family like, mm, I don't, or you need to stop fooling with your folks and stop answering the phone or you need to do this. The funny part about it is. Yeah, people, our relationship like this would be like, your folks crazy. you <laughs> like, your folks crazy. Because the funny part about it is I was advocating for her folks. She was advocating for mine. We were, we both told each other like, Let's give me, I do with my family, but to a certain extent. Sam, but, oh, go ahead. But when we started our relationship, it was kind of like since we we gave each other the benefit, not the benefit of that, but we started on the flesh, flesh, fresh, fresh slate. 
we were giving, we both were giving each other's family a fresh slate. Like, okay, mm -hmm. we gonna see how this go. But especially since we knew the direction that we were headed in our lives, we were trying to include them. But they we started themselves. having kids. We, some of them were becoming first-time grandparents, stuff like that. Well, not some of them. My parents. My parents were becoming grandparents. Your mom was already, mm -hmm. you know, a grandma or whatever. Yep. So we were trying to just be a big happy family. Mm-hmm. But trying to do that. Bit us in the ass, and that's just the realness. Mm -hmm. And now we like over here now on the bubble. A lot of people that we would advocate for, they burn us on so many different levels, mm -hmm. and we just sit back and talk to each other. And we mm. let them burn us like a couple of times. That's the crazy part. Because of family. And that's why we love y'all, and y'all know that we are real. Because I hate to bring up the drama, but even with that situation, mm -hmm. we give everybody a fair chance to show your own behind you know mm -hmm. and after that it's like okay mm -hmm. i'm washing my hands i love you i forgive you but but now we're not goofy enough mm -hmm. to a lot of people do the same thing now mm -hmm. even though they burn us it'd be on different aspects you know what i mean mm -hmm. as well as like we sit back too there were times where like we have people coming over all the time, mm -hmm. but we start to notice before they come and show up. You cooking today? What you cooking? What you cooking? Excuse me. What you cooking? If we what say you nothing, cooking, are you cooking? If we say nothing, they don't show up. Mm -hmm. But if we say something, everybody showing up. Showing up if they had it. And at this point, if you made it this far and you family and you feel like we talking about you, they know who they are. You know what you did. So it, it shouldn't be no, are they talking about me or I feel like they talking about me. I don't like that. And that's why I don't like no. talking about stuff because I don't have to I'm, name drop for you know yes. what you did. If and you have to question if you did something to me, then not time I tell you, you, you did cross me and you mm -hmm. know you did, but you just wondering if I caught it. And I'm big on that. What's understood does not have to be explained. Y'all, they know who they are. Those who do for the kids, come see the kids, all of that. Somebody asked that question in my dish of ball. Um, what they say, the family live close mm -hmm. and do they help with the kids? No. Except for the ones who know That's who they are. Mm-hmm. Or uh, that's for the that's most true. Part. For the for the most part, the ones you have seen, my brother and my yeah, you got an OG if you remember my sister and Mimi. I and Mike. got an OG OG if they remember Mimi. But they do have a few family members. But we live in Birmingham, and my family's in Birmingham. His family is in Tuscaloosa, about mm -hmm. forty-five minutes away. But they know who they are too. <laughs> so. What I'm about to say? Oh, so when yes, when y'all ask that question, do family live close by? Do they do anything? No. I'm talking about not even time with the kids. And yes, it's not about you know spending money on them or anything. Time. You just stopping by or even calling or texting on the phone. No, none of that. And at the end of the day, what we kind of realize or what we we say is. That's going to be their loss, not the kids, because it's our job to just give them the best life that we can, the best life we can, and all the love that we that we got. And if we see someone is to make being, up for what's lost, and if we see somebody's being stingy with their love, why are you going to force your child on someone who is showing you mm -hmm. that pretty much they don't want to have nothing to do with them, mm -hmm. or they don't want to have nothing to do? With the parents, so they just don't. No big kids. Mm -hmm. Everybody who we've cut off or stopped talking to, we do not involve the kids. We never told anyone. You can't see the kids. 
In well, fact, we told them. The kids them, can't come there. In fact, we told them, like, we hey. we do not involve kids. We ain't got nothing against the kids. kids and we want you to have a relationship. Because at first, the way you crossed me wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. But then as time goes on, you keep pushing the envelope. So we just like. That's why we love our kids the way we do because mm -hmm. we grew up yearning for that love and not getting it. Mm -hmm. Or someone telling it to you, or telling them that, telling you that they love you and they hug you and kissing you, but they still treat you wrong and basically spit on your face. Mm -hmm. Spitting in your face. That's where Munchhouse syndrome comes from. People identify with their attacker because mm -hmm. they're family. You can have Munchhouse by proxy. Mm -hmm. And any other kind of condition from family, just like you can get it from, as people say, a stranger in the streets. Who was saying? Oh, much out. Yeah, you it's know what I mean? Good. And that's why it's very important to know, like, different kind of mental conditions, different kind of manipulation tactics, mm -hmm. so that you can know when people are trying to employ them upon you. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. And y'all can call me slow or whatever y'all want to call me. I knew what... It's kind of like I knew the definition of manipulation. But when it was happening to me, I was like... You were lost. Blind. Especially when it comes to family. But yeah, it was like when it was happening to me. When it comes to family, I, well, I was blind. I give people chance after chance after chance. Don't tell them no, or are scared to tell them no. When I'm a human, I should not be scared. And when I tell y'all, I don't care what nobody say. I'm gonna get pepped out. I can get, no. Oh. I don't care what nobody say about this man right here, but he has taught me a lot, and he has not told me or man. suggested me to do or cut off anything he ain't did nothing but a lot of you a lot of you women out there i don't know how you feel about pretty much someone allowing you to make your own mistake like even if yeah, something even if he, see, did, he said he told me well he, he told me how a few people were i'm like nah and and I kid you not after like this is gonna be a two to be continued discussion because yes. somebody mentioned the other day I don't let you talk I oh. talk over you even though we both just it's coincidence but I to mean. me but to me you don't talk over me because whenever you say whatever you finna say most of the time it be what I finna say we it's almost like you read my thoughts but they don't know us so I'm okay <laughs> well then we like this I'm telling he read my mind um but literally. After I told her like about the food, mm -hmm. hey, because we had people, all, we are told showing up with. But I'm talking if we say we ain't cooking, if they do come, they come with food and, and leave their food on the table. And don't call and say y'all don't bring some too. After all the food they ate there, like not even a call, like hey, you want to bring some and you can pay me when we get there. Mm -hmm. Or leave that trash that they done brought from out of the house on the table when they leave out the door, like they got some slaves or something. Or it'll, it'll be the next time they come. At our kids' birthday party, we cooked seven hundred dollars worth of food. There's no food left. We hid food for us to eat later. That food is gone, and people take it to go place out the door. And our kid don't have nothing but like five gifts, and this is a party of thirty plus people for a kid. For a kid, this is pretty much when our kid, this is Drew when, turned two. Yeah, when he turned one. It was Drew Drew. Yep. And it turned two. Two. Yep. And and, and, and it turned one. Yep. We had, their birthdays are in February and March. We had two birthday parties and was left with nothing. Cooking whole Thanksgiving meal. No Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving leftovers. Mm -hmm. 
none. We barbecue on the next day after Thanksgiving, y'all. And it's supposed to be a family potluck. Like everybody's supposed to cook, cook enough for a side to go to various households. We the only ones to actually abide by the rules of the potluck, apparently. And this is pretty much what we're gonna talk about next video of us together. But because we stay at home, people pick their jealous. And they're also nosy. They want to know how we get income, how we do this, how we do that, how we have a house, how we have this, how we have that, and we have no jobs. But it don't matter. That's none of your business. As long as we're not asking you for anything, mm -hmm. it don't matter. So stuff like Thanksgiving, all the food getting gone, birthday party, people treat us like we got it because we look, you know, like we got it. But at the end of the day, we still people, and you should do nobody like that. Nobody. And the majority of the people who've done stuff like that to us is family, and we protect our peace. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> we love them. We do not hate them. Where our feelings hurt? Yeah, yes. Definitely. But our feelings were hurt enough to say enough is enough. That's enough. No. 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 I, no. <laughs> I know me enough no. <laughs> to know the kind of person I am and know what I don't deserve. So when you're treating me how I know I don't deserve, why would I continue to allow you to be in my circle? Mm -hmm. I can't take the I can't take away the fact that we're blood. But what no. I can take away is my space. Yep. And keep you out of my space. <laughs> and I don't have to answer the phone. Y'all, I literally have or develop anxiety when certain people call or text. It's my heart start beating. I'm thinking about what they finna say, what they about to ask. I don't. I didn't want to feel like that no more. Nope. And they show not showed me, but he taught me that it's your family, but it's okay to not deal with them because you not. can't choose your family. I, I was just born. I didn't ask to be born. Or no, nothing. Oh, that's another subject. That's another subject too. But, I ain't actually born. Yes, I did not ask to be here. So, huh? Oh, bay out. I don't even care. We finna get ready to be done. That's what I was trying to tell you. Yes, it don't even matter. What I about to say? Um, I ain't asked to be here. Yes, I didn't ask to be here. So certain things should not be. They ain't got nothing to do with me. That's the that's the moral story. Facts. You know, what I mean, I can't take away the fact that we're blood. I can't deny that, but at the same mm -hmm. time, that's never an excuse for mistreating somebody. Mm -hmm. If you don't treat somebody- Or trying to put your, not abuse, your, make them do what you want them to do. Your views on life, your yeah, perspective. Your views, yeah, on other people. Dang, this suit tape is good. I told oh, you. But, these kids acting up, we finna hear it to go. I was gonna say, and then, it ain't even that I, um, this is gonna be the last thing that was. Oh. I'm gonna go back there, but. It's not even that I did anything to actually teach her. I took a step back because when Jasmine and I met, and let me see them unfold for themselves, and that everybody can't go to the next level with you. I oh, you read my mind on my mama. I was about our to say. Literally, since we met, our relationship has been up, up, in every level. Somebody has been showed their ass. Got and got up. cut so everybody can't go to the next level with you when people say that that that's true and then also even in the bible let's look at it like this show me in the bible where it says that family is excluded from not being able to go to the next level mm -hmm. show me where it says that there's an exclusion or does it say celebrities even say that all the time when they become famous they have to stop answering the phone yep. i ain't a celebrity but i ain't gotta answer the damn phone no that's, but that's the part that our family don't understand and we know like we said we know they watching we know they talking spit and you ain't paying that damn bill over here so why you don't pay the phone that you're getting upset that I'm not answering mm -hmm. so what's the issue again I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. and but, well, well, well let's, let's dial that back what? it ain't that we don't answer the phone because don't nobody call we're saying, too. Yeah, we're, saying, we're saying in the grander aspect of like those of you who may have these issues going on with family that call 
but try to make an issue when you don't pick up the phone when they call when you already know why they call Mm-hmm. That's just another manipulation tactic. But everybody think we be over here acting funny and we don't love family, respect family, and value it. But I we value call our your phone. bubble. Hmm. <laughs> we value our bubble, man. Cause I ain't got it. I don't have to. Why do I have to reach out and call you when you only call me when you need something? If you that means that you know my number, right? It, and I'm talking about not even not even dire emergencies. Hey, can I borrow twenty dollars? I need some cigarettes till payday. <laughs> I ain't heard from you since the summer. Keep Where did it come from? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, you can't have twenty dollars. Oh, you just think you better than everybody else. Yes, people think we. I don't know y'all. We don't. Know. If if the people watching this video that be talking spit knew that we know what they be talking about, you can't put that up. <laughs> we can blur it. We can blur it. But if only they knew. Yep. That we know the spit they be talking, and on that note, sadly, we have oh, our spam shout outs. Our oh. fam shout outs for the day go to these people right here. Shout out to y'all! Thank y'all for subscribing and coming on our video. If you want to shout out like them, all you gotta do is subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and leave us some comments down below when we post the video. Come in, mm. everybody, somebody, or a few people were asking how you get a shout out. We know what we talk about in our videos, we're just gonna be honest. So, honestly, the shout outs come from people that we can tell watch the video. Instead and whoever get on the video first, yes, we do, so we do notification. Have two shout outs. Yes. We do notification and uh, uh, we call them authentic comments because we know everybody can't make it to the end. So, it's not who will make it to the end, it's a, a comment that I know. You watched the video, yeah, or you yeah. gave me a little bit of your time. I don't want to be just giving it to the person that be like, uh, first, or first. the food look good, but well, I can't even say the food look good because you can't. That could be your comment. You could watch. So sometimes I do, the, I do do the the food look good comments. Because I mean, anybody can say the food. You can come to the video, yeah. pause, and say the food looks good. Yeah. But that's why we usually lump the food looks good and first into the same category. Yeah. The food look good and first. Because people right. will, yes, because people will come and that be the first thing they say. Just, the food just looks good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The food looks good. Because some people they watch on their TV, so some people like to pick up a phone to tell you, "Hey, I'm here." Yep. So food look good and first are those are the yeah. The notification shout outs. Yes. And the authentic ones is just well, showing you watch the period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Authentic. Just authentic comments, guys. Self, yeah. But anyway. Comments that have the whole weight. Yes. Substance. <laughs> but sadly, <laughs> it has become it has come to that point in the video. Then we must let y'all go. Until so, next video. Love you guys. Make sure you thing <laughs> love you guys. Make sure you get a video <coughs> thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you like this conversation, then let us know below. Tune in for part two yeah. later on coming to we, a look, look what time is it? We're gonna let it rip. Oh you know yeah. let, let, let it rip. Work. Let it rip work. And family, if y'all watching and y'all get offended. You shouldn't have did it. I'm sorry, hit my line. But Oh, that's if, right. You want to call when you want some. Or you're gonna call because you feel why are you talking about me on your video? Why well, I didn't even know you watch my video. And if you can <laughs> call me to say why you talk about me on your video, that means that you know that you did that. If yeah. you don't call me and say, hey, who did that to you, fam? Or if you can say or why if you, you don't did say I hope I'm not the person that made you feel like that. Or if I made you feel like that, I'm sorry. I take that. But I would wonder what you what? did that was closely along those lines mm -hmm. for me to say you want to call me when you want some. Yes. Okay, y'all. We're going to go for it. I was about to say, we'll be here talking all day. So, bye, 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 bye. Love you guys.